Hello, my name is Miriam and I'm a software engineer at Scala Center. In this video, we will see how to migrate a project from Scala 213 to Scala 3 using Scala 3 Migrate. Migrating a project is a two-step process. First, you need to migrate the build definition, which implies updating the library dependencies and the compiler options. This step is time-consuming and can be quite tedious depending on the complexity of your build. The goal of the second step is to make the code compiled in Scala 3. By fixing first the deprecated syntax in Scala 213, then by fixing the remaining incompatibilities. Let's start by correctly updating the library dependencies. If you change the Scala version of your build and run the compile task, you will see that some dependencies are not being resolved and therefore are incorrect. We want to avoid the tedious cycle where for each problematic dependency, we have to find a new version, change it in the build, reload and then recompile. The goal is to fix all libraries first and then change the Scala version at the end. Scala 213 and Scala 3 are designed to work with each other, which makes this migration easier. Many libraries already published for Scala 213 can be used in Scala 3 without republishing. There are exceptions. Macro libraries and compiler plugins need to be redesigned first for Scala 3. To help with migrating the build, I will use the SPT plugin Scala 3 Migrate. It's a tool I've been working on for the last six months and its goal is to make the migration process easier. It works for both Scala.js and Scala. This plugin requires SPT 1.5. You can enable it easily by adding one line to your plugin list. Scala Migrate provides four commands. Each one helps with one specific step of the migration. The first one is migrate libs. It helps you update the list of the library dependencies. Actually, for each library, it will tell you if it is already valid, cannot be updated to Scala 3, or need to be in a specific version. So let's try this command on this project. For each library, we will see what we are supposed to do and how migrate libs will help you. The simplest case is when a library doesn't depend on a Scala version. We can see that because there is only one percent sign, which is equivalent to writing cross version dot disabled. It usually means that it's a Java library, and Java libraries are compatible the same way in Scala 2 and Scala 3. When running the command migrate libs, it shows that the library is valid, so we don't need to update the build. The second case is when a library is available for Scala 3. To verify that, we can use the Scaladex version matrix. It provides super useful information and we can easily verify that our artifact is available for Scala 3. For CAT score, we see that it's the case. The version is available for both 2.13 and 3. Migrate libs follow the same logic. It finds all available versions published for Scala 3 and shows you the earliest and the latest version that are compatible. So here, we pick the new CAT score version to update our build. Third case, it's not a Java library, it's not yet published for Scala 3. So thanks to the binary compatibility between Scala 213 and Scala 3, we can use the 213 artifact in Scala 3. Migrate libs command indicates to use the 213 version in Scala 3 through the new syntax of SPT, for 3, use 213. This syntax means that we want to use the 213 artifact for both Scala 213 and Scala 3. So we will update the library by adding the cross version syntax. Using Scala 213 libraries in Scala 3 application is safe. But if you are publishing a library, you should make sure that your dependencies are up upgraded to Scala 3 first. 
The reason is to prevent users from ending up with two conflicting versions of the same library in their class path. Fourth case, the library is not published yet for Scala 3, but it's a macro library. If a library contains macros, you cannot migrate to Scala 3 until it's published in Scala 3. In fact, Scala 3 compiler cannot expand macro definitions written in Scala 2. Migrate libs will also show that the library cannot be migrated because it contains macro. For compiler plugins, there are two cases. The first case is when a compiler plugin has not been published in Scala 3, but its functionalities are already supported by the Scala 3 compiler. It is the case for current projector. Migrate libs will show that for this particular plugin, there is a Scala C option to replace it. So we will update the Scala C options by adding this setting and make sure that the compiler plugin is only available in 213. The second case is when a compiler plugin is not available for Scala 3 and there is no Scala C option to replace it. It's the case for Better Monadic 4. This plugin won't be available for Scala 3 because compiler plugins in Scala 3 cannot modify syntax. The Scala 3 compiler supports some of its functionalities and the remaining should be available in the next Scala version. Meanwhile, to be able to migrate to Scala 3, the only solution is to remove the usage of this plugin, which will break your code. You need to fix it and make sure it compiles in Scala 2.13. Following all the previous instructions, we will update the build which will look like this. This build is still valid for Scala 2.13. The library dependencies are now fully migrated. We can continue with the second step, Scala C options. Let's update now the compiler settings. The second command is migrate Scala C options. It helps with the process of updating the compiler settings. Between Scala 2.13 and Scala 3, the available compiler options are different. Some Scala 2.13 settings have been removed, others have been renamed, and some remain the same. This command helps you find how to evolve the compiler option of your project. The previous build specifies two Scala C options. We can either refer to the Scala 3 migration guide or use the Scala Migrate plugin to find out how to update those settings. I'm using Migrate Scala C options. We see that warn and use is specific to Scala 2 and doesn't have an equivalent in Scala 3. Whereas warn error exists under a different name, X fatal warnings. We can update the Scala C options easily following this output. We see that the result of this command mentions a Scala C option that hasn't been set by us, which is Y range position. In fact, some SVT plugins can modify the compiler options and are supposed to adapt their own settings for Scala 3. So we don't need to remove Y range position here. If some Scala C options are not updated correctly, don't worry, the Scala 3 compiler will ignore them and warn you about it. The build is now fully updated. Now we can change the Scala version in the SVT shell and launch the compile task. Your project may be already compiling successfully in Scala 3. If the code is not compiling, let's go to the third step and fix the deprecated syntax in 2.13. An incompatibility is a piece of code that compiles in Scala 2.13 but does not compile in Scala 3. Migrating a code base involves finding and fixing all the incompatibilities of the source code. With Scala 3 Migrate, we provide a command that applies a number of Scala fix rules that fix some of the deprecated syntax. Once those changes are applied, the code still compiles in Scala 2.13 and you can already commit those changes. 
There are more incompatibilities listed in the migration guide. Most of them are not frequent and can easily be fixed by hand. If you want to contribute with a new Scalafix rule, we will be happy to add your rule in addition to the rules we already apply. If your code still doesn't compile, it may be linked to other incompatibilities. So let's jump to the last step. One of the main incompatibilities is due to the new type inference algorithm used by the Scala3 compiler. It is more accurate than the one used by 213, but can infer a different type. Scala3 migrate provides one last command that finds the necessary type to add in order to make your code compile. Let's see that with a concrete example. This code is perfectly valid in Scala 213, but does not compile in Scala 3. The Scala 3 compiler is complaining about not finding an implicit for the method read write. Scala 3 migrates, adds the required explicit type annotation and function parameter so that the compiler does not need to infer them. This makes the code quite verbose. But now the code is compiling in Scala 3, which is our main goal. We don't really need to add every hidden type or implicit. Usually only a few type annotations are necessary to make the project compile. Following a dichotomic algorithm, we remove all unnecessary type annotation and we end up with a minimum solution where the code still compiles in Scala3. All the computations are done in memory. The file is only modified at the end once we find the minimum change to apply. Here, we added a type apply for the map. It's done. The project now is fully migrated to Scala3. Now it's the time to change the Scala version or add Scala3 to cross versions. Scala3 Migrate plugin can help with many steps of this migration. It is still under development and we would love to hear from you. Every feedback will help us to build a better tool. So please share with us on GitHub or Gitter. To summarize, the migration from Scala 213 to Scala 3 is not that much different from previous migrations. It can be even simpler thanks to the binary compatibility between 213 and Scala 3. Most of the code in 213 is already valid and incompatibilities are not that frequent. So let's migrate to Scala 3. Thank you.